Um, but the, also in the 3D space, uh, Mattel is getting into the game. Uh, they're going to release a $300 3D printer that lets you design and create your own toys. That's the killer app. Well, we know there's there's somebody in Pittsburgh that's doing this as a kiosk that is in the toy store. But now you can drop 300 bucks and spit out your own stuff. And Mattel has how many licenses? They mentioned Barbie and Hot Wheels as a case in here. But I know Mattel is behind something like the WWE toys. So think you can get a new wardrobe for your John Cena figure or a new you know championship belt or something made out of this. I think this is a really cool killer app for something like this i mean back in the day we always had those kind of like a monster maker kind of things or like kind of an easy bake oven of little plastic dudes that are scary looking right um this is kind of the next step isn't it i think this is amazing like i, th I think it would be awesome if speaking about wrestling if you could totally just make a you know ryback's body and um somebody else's head <laughs> But but looking at like things like a Barbie doll, you could really get a customized Barbie doll face because mm -hmm. now they're they're getting a little more um, less traditional. Um, you could actually have one that really looks like you, or, or at least or, accessorize. Think, think if you if you could custom create Legos, like for all the kids that lost like the one Lego piece to their set down the street, you'd be like instant awesome person on your street. Yeah, I think it's the way just to custom go. print the missing Lego piece. I mean, everything's like kind of like one colored and everything, and and and, and you know, it, it, it kind of limits what you could do there. But like to accessorize the Barbie, um, I know already with the WWE toys, they have the ones where they're the interchangeable create create a wrestler kind of things. Mm -hmm. Like, could you just create those interchangeable parts for those create a wrestlers at a certain point? Um, there's already an app available uh, for the creation and configuration of toys. Um, it's uh, called the I think double check the name, not Toyland, where is it? But it, Thing Maker, uh, thing, I think it's the Thing Maker app. So you can go go on there, look at that, and, and kind of see what you can uh, do with it. Um, Alex, I don't know, are you are you on there? Uh, you got any thoughts yeah. on the Mattel uh, 3D printer? Uh, oh, are you what are you going to make I, with this thing? I have no idea, but it's awesome because I I never had the Thing Maker, like the Monster Maker and all that. But I always saw the commercials for it, and so. I'm pretty excited for it. Also for kind of the, the slight nostalgia factor for the brand name itself. Cause it, it reminds me of, uh, it reminds me of when we were talking about the new Viewmaster being a VR kind of device. So stuff like that, where they take the old brand name that people are familiar with and apply it to something new, some new technology, stuff like that is always exciting to me. So I'm definitely excited to check out the thing maker. Awesome. I can't wait to find out how people hack this thing. Related news, Mattel is also supposed to be putting out, I think they just, uh, I think there's a toy fair over this past weekend. That's why a lot of this is coming out right now. Uh, but they're they're coming out with another version of the new Viewmaster, which is based on Google Cardboard. So look out for that as well. So it's awesome. Uh, so our toys are actually becoming toys when it comes to these things. So... Uh...